Hey everyone, it's Stamp Ventures with Shauna. Welcome to my Tuesday tutorial, which is live on June 16th uh, here in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan. Yes, I'm a Canadian demonstrator and I'm going to be sharing two cards for guys with you today. And I also have a special draw. If you are watching this video live or if you're catching the replay sometime after June 16th, please leave a comment. Say hello, um, tell us where you're from, uh, what the weather is like, or share a little something. And on Friday at noon, I will put all the names of the people who commented into a draw and one of those people will receive some gold faceted gems as a thank you from me. Now I can only send um, thank you product out to people who are in Canada um, but those of you who are from out of the country I want you to know that I still love that you watch and I'm going to do a separate draw for one of those people and I will send them a card one of the cards that I make tonight so you can um, still participate in some sort of way and I'm going to be actually sharing two cards in my tutorial tonight because one of my perks with placing an order for the month of June and um, either placing it through me or using my host code is to get supplies to, to, make, to make two cards for guys so um, I'm going to be sharing how those cards are uh, made and put together. And so, um, yeah, we'll get started here in just a minute. I just wanted to make sure here that I'm all hooked up to the uh, iPad so that I can see comments that are coming through. Uh, I think I've got, I think I've got it hooked up here and give a wave if you're there or a thumbs up or something just so I can see if there's anybody oh I think things are starting to work now great thank you so yes make sure you leave a comment and um, if you're watching this later it's after June 16th comment with the word replay and I'll know that you caught it um, after the live so and, and Friday I will draw for these for someone in Canada and somebody from another country I will be sending you a card and that'll be lots of fun so to start with tonight I have a weather word for you and thankfully today we got away from the whole gone with the wind <laughs> uh, theme because oh boy oh boy that the wind has just been super crazy around here in these last couple weeks so uh, today my weather word is rejuvenating it started out as a beautiful morning and we had a little bit of sun and it was kind of calm and then we had a good downpour of rain which uh, rejuvenated everything it's been good to freshen things up because we've had close to drought conditions here and uh, um, and now well I guess there there is a little bit of wind tonight there have been storm systems close by but uh, um, hopefully it's not anything near like what we had before so just taking a check and hi Sue thanks for hopping on here I'm going to be sharing how I made this uh, double point card and also another guy card and um, partway through the video like between sort of at intermission between the cards I'm going to share the car uh, the cards that will be part of my dreaming of Paris class it'll be the first peek at those cards so thanks for hopping on and um, I should grab my materials for the first card here that I'm going to demonstrate. So this is for people with June orders from me. Um, they'll get two envelopes full of materials just like this and everything will be cut and scored and basically you just need to put it together and stamp a greeting with some of the stamps that you would have at home. Oh yeah, this double point card is, it's a little bit different. I've seen a few different variations on it. So um, I'll show you how I did mine. And it, it looks quite, um, it, it looks 
like it might be a difficult card to do but it's actually quite easy and my uh, ladies in club did this last month with me um, yeah so and the neat thing about the package that you get with all the little pieces in it is there is a choice of doing uh oh <laughs> what happened I lost my golf my golf ball <laughs> I lost my ball <laughs> um, there's a choice between the Muskoka chair or uh, the the golf ball just hang on a second I'll grab it right now hey <laughs> be right back Ta-da! There we go. So um, you get both choices in the little kit that um, that you'll be receiving. Uh, so to start with, you'll want to find this white piece here. That's five by five and a quarter by four. And these two designer pieces have little edges that are scored. I think they're at about half inch edges, something like that. And um, I was going to say, you'll turn the white piece over, but really <laughs> it's uh, kind of the same on both sides. Let's see. I'm just going to grab some Fast Fuse. I still don't have my, my brand new Stampin' Seal yet. And there's a Stampin' Seal and then there's Stampin' Seal Plus. And I'm excited to try the Stampin' Seal Plus because it's supposed to be strong like the Fast Fuse. And I... That's what I really loved about the Fast Fuse. So just um, fold those down like that and then you can adhere that to the black card base. And I'm just gonna use my liquid glue because that's going to uh, make it a little bit easier for me to center it and work work around to get it in the right place. I don't know what that was that I just picked off. I think it was like a little booger of glue. <laughs> okay, so let's see if I can kind of get this in place like that. And all right, so for those of you who just hopped on, um, make sure you leave a comment this time because um, I uh, do have a special draw that I'll be doing on Friday and it will be for live or replay comments that are left by um, Friday at noon. Okay, so then you just take and fold one corner down. You're making the triangle this way and the other. And it doesn't have to be like a super, super pointy end because this, that end is going to get covered up by this um, nested label die. So I'd say that's close enough for me. And just put on a little bit more of the fast fuse here to hold that down. And you do the same thing at the other side. Yeah, that's as easy it is as it is to do this double point card. It um, doesn't take much to create those points and I, I, I've only done it so far in this uh, paper that it's the retired paper from the clubhouse uh, suite but I think it would look pretty cool in a lot of uh, different kinds of designer papers so there are the two points the double points and now I'll take this nested label die which is the smoky slate one and i'm going to adhere it with dimensionals because er, let's see am i going to use dimensionals no nope, i didn't use dimensionals on my sample okay so this is what i'll do um uh, i'm going to use liquid glue changed my mind just because again if it's not quite centered i have a few seconds to move it before the glue sets so i put a little bit down here and then a little bit up at the point of this nest stitch nested die here 
and I want to center it side to side and up and down so let's see I'm kind of going by how far the corners of the nested die is from the triangles so something like that and I'll just hold it for a second to get that to adhere so yeah it's that quick to put together and then I promised like my one sample here has got like the Muskoka chair so the other one I'll make is the golf golf one and and like I said those people who place orders of $30 or more during the month of June with me uh, you'll get both so you can pick which one you would like to um, to put on the front of your card okay so this golf tee it has a little bit of an embossed part to it so this is the front and this is the back you can kind of tell when you compare the two it's got a little bit of a an embossed pressed in edge there okay so just little droplets of the liquid glue and whereabouts do I want that well try for center something like that and I'm going to grab some more dimensionals so that on my golf ball you probably can't see it in this light here but it has great texture on it just like the texture of a real golf ball just about it's got all those little those little dents in it I don't know what they're called <laughs> I'll call it little dents but there might be a as a professional name for it hello to Brenda thanks for hopping on Brenda um, I'm doing something a little bit different tonight I'm demonstrating two cards for guys because people who place an order of $30 or more with me uh, during this month they'll receive all these pieces to make these cards and put them together so I'm doing the video here and I'm saving it now so anybody can go back and um, make those make those cards and there is a special draw on Friday at noon anybody who leaves a comment I will be drawing for the gold faceted gems and I love really love these and they're not in our catalog anymore and I'm so going to miss those now in your package <laughs> there will be three little punched out pieces so you have three chances to stamp and get it centered <laughs> and the words that I'm using actually for both cards today the words that I'm using are from this stamp set called itty bitty greetings but you might have something else at home that you could use um, for words that are small and would fit in there and if you don't have anything you could even write a little a little sentiment in there too so that's another option and I'm going to use memento memento tuxedo black and I have yes these are one of the last stamp sets that are still current that I have in wood and I really like that the part that I like about the wood is that I can mix and match and pick and choose for classes people can just grab it and go and they don't have to mount it on a block but the thing that I don't like about it with the wood is that I can't really see where I'm stamping so when I go to do this the first thing I'll try is um, I will stamp on my grid sheet or scrap paper and see how it lines up and basically I'm getting it pretty much that's about the center ish sort of there I don't know we'll see if this works and like I said I've got three chances actually if I use both sides I've got six chances so let's give this a whirl you can do it you can do it oh I think I missed it oh yeah I did okay turn it over try again let's see let's see if I can get it it's not quite centered on this wooden block so there oh except that I didn't press I must must not have got ink on the F as well as, as much as I should have but um, it's it's centered either that or I didn't press as firmly there but that's we're gonna call that close enough and I need to grab oh that's my <laughs> my uh, 
my earbuds there, the wire from my earbuds. I've learned to use uh, my earbuds with a microphone for when I do videoing. It helps a little bit with the background noise. My son is making, um, he's baking right now. He's making some biscuits. Tomorrow, my mom and dad are moving out of their house that they've lived in for 40 years. And uh, so um, it's going to be a big day. And I thought, was that ever nice of him to make some biscuits? They'll need a little bit of a, a treat in the midst of the moving. Tomorrow's the day when the they come to move the big furniture. They've done a lot already. They've um, moved a lot of the smaller things. Um, their closets and cupboards are very full already. So tomorrow it's like the dining room table, the, the bed, beds, the couches, those kinds of things. Okay, so I used mini dimensionals, one on each end. Don't put any in the middle because then that allows you to tuck this card into that slot there so it doesn't pop up. When I first made it, I thought, oh, I don't need anything, but I hated how, it, even when I used my bone folder and really burnished the edge, it still wanted to pop up and I didn't like that. So that was my workaround to get it um, not to pop up. Yeah, that's what I thought, Sue. So gotta love a guy who cooks, you know what? And um, two nights ago or three nights ago, he also made some muffins and that was a really nice treat too. So. Yeah, I might get used to this uh, with him, having him home and uh, cooking. Oh, I've got a little bit of glue or something, or maybe, yeah, I don't know. I've got a little bit of something on my hands. So when I made this card, I decided, well, I could just leave it blank and just write in there. But, um, you know, when, when you get writing, sometimes you like go out, to the edges and then when the card is closed up it's like you're gonna see that that writing there and I'm like oh I don't know if I want that that to show up so my idea was well if I put another stitched nested die inside that's the same size then we'll know you can like restrict the writing to that area and it won't um, go all over the place but how do I do that so it matches up exactly with the spooky slate die and here's my workaround for that. So I'm going to lay this. Um, actually, I'll put the adhesive on it first. So clue that up and then lay that down so that the good side is, behind, is um, facing away from me and the glue is facing towards me. Here we go. Hold it in place, hold it in place. Ta-da, there we go. So there it is, a double point card. And as I mentioned at the beginning, um, this is one of the cards that people who place an order with me in June will receive all the pieces um, to be able to put together uh, when, I re when um, their order comes through. So that reminds me, um, yeah, oh, where did I have that list? Roxanne and Cheryl, you've got package card packages coming. And um, uh, Brenda, yours was $30 too. So you've got card packages coming as well. Um, so card number one. Also for those people who just hopped on, um, just letting you know that I am going to be doing a draw for some gold faceted gems. It could be if you're watching live or it could be from the replay. Just make a comment before Friday at noon, that's this Friday, and uh, I can only send Stampin' Up! gift products to people in Canada, but if you are from out of country, I will send one of these cards, I will do a draw and send one of these cards to you as a thank you for watching from wherever you are watching in the world. So, oh, there's, there's the first one and we're going to take an intermission and I have something else to show you. It's a peek at my Dreaming of Paris class. And oh, I got to check, I see a message here. Kathy, hi Kathy. 
I love this technique and he have used it a lot lately. It looks so impressive and simple. And I agree. Yeah, that's what I, I kind of made mention to that uh, effect at the beginning is that um, it looks really cool, but it's it's not hard to do at all. And uh, and I've like only done it so far with the golfing paper, but there will be other cool papers out there that it would be fun to do that technique with. And I really should try it more with um, with some other stamp sets and dies and other designer papers. OK, so I'm excited to share this with you. Uh, my dreaming of Paris class came about originally because in May, uh, two other demonstrators and myself were going to have what we called, oh, now am I going to say this right? Paris in April. And we were going to have a wonderful like stamp camp event where people came and made 12 different projects and got all kinds of the Parisian, what was that called? Floral Parisian, Parisian floral paint. I can't even remember the name of it. And then of course, the whole COVID thing came along and we couldn't have the live event. So I have all kinds of this beautiful paper from the spring mini catalog. And so I've designed a class that goes around this paper. And if you're interested in the class, there are three different options and I'll show you option one, which is the basic Paris class. That's where you'll get a quarter of a pack of the, per, what is that called again? Parisian blah, pre, uh, <laughs> somebody knows the name out there. Sue, maybe you've got your catalog still. I don't know, the Parisian something paper, <laughs> Parisian blossom, I don't know. Um, you get quarter of a pack, so exactly what you see here. Plus for the class, you'll get um, two rows of the champagne rhinestones, which is like a fifth of the pack. And you'll get two and a half yards, which is like seven and a half feet of the petal pink metallic edged ribbon. And you'll use these things to make four different cards. And I'll show you the cards now. And um, Everything except your designer paper will be all cut for you in the package for your class. These pieces, uh, there will be a sheet with pictures of the cards and tips, and in the tips it will tell you what size to cut these pieces to to complete your cards. But everything else will be already cut out for you. So here's the first card for the class. and. Um, of course, there will be no stamping as well. You'll have to stamp your own greeting. And on three of the four cards that I will show you here tonight, I use Smoky Slate to stamp my greetings with. So um, this will be blank and you can look around in your words to find what you've got available. And then you'll have the rhinestones to put onto your card and you'll be able to cut this paper to the size and everything else will be cut die cut and embossed for you. So card number one for the basic class. The basic class is $30. Here's card number two. I don't know if I like what I've done with these flowers here. I might be changing the centers of the flowers. I'm still deciding that. But the Eiffel Tower will be cut for you. The pieces of champagne foil will be cut for you. Merci will be cut for you. If you don't want it to be say Merci, you can stamp something else in black uh, that from some words that you have on hand. And so this is card number two. And again, we'll give you the dimensions to cut the uh, designer paper from what you receive in your kit. Oh, here's card number three. I was really happy with this one. Again, a, another butterfly that'll be die cut in champagne and you'll use some more of your rhinestones there. And this is how this one opens up. It's a little bit off-centered like this. And again, all those pieces will be cut for you. And there's how you'll use a little bit of your ribbon, but you won't use very much. You're getting like seven and a half feet of it. So you'll have um, lots left to do more projects with it. And again, the tips sheet will show you or tell you how, what size to cut the designer paper for this project. 
Oh, Denise, yeah, I agree. The butterflies are so beautiful. Thank you, Sue, for saving my life. <laughs> Parisian blossoms. What was I call it? Parisian flowers or something. Parisian blossoms specialty designer paper. So yeah, there it is, the quarter of the pack that's part of the class. So this is the basic class right now. And here's the last card for the basic class. Again, I stamped it with some say, a sentiment that I have with a smoky slate. And you'll receive all these pieces in yeah, I'll even tie your bow for you. So then all you have to do is glue dot that onto your card. So basic card class with all of these things. Oh, and I'll throw in some mini dimensionals and some regular dimensionals. That's all for $30. Now, I do have two more options for this. And uh, if you're interested in those, uh, the second option is to get $5 off the class. So instead of paying 30 for it, the class you pay 25 and the add-on would be is that you would purchase the forever blossoms stamp set which is a beautiful set and because you've added on uh, the stamp set purchase then you will also receive two materials to make two additional cards and again it will be pieces that will all be cut and ready except that they will be, um, the two extra cards will use piece, uh, use stamps from your new stamp set. So it'll show you some ways to use it um, and, and not just, you know, sit on your shelf and look pretty. So you'll get six cards, this, and everything else that you see here. And then option three. For those who are like, what did I call this? The full bloom class, the full bloom dreaming of Paris class. That's for people who add on the die set, which coordinates with the Forever Blossom stamp set. And it cuts out, uh, die cuts the big branch of blossoms and die cuts the little flowers and leaves. And there's a whole bunch of other pieces that go with this too. So if you're going for the full bloom, you'll get all of this plus two more bonus cards order the stamp set the die set and the bonus for this option number three is you're going to receive half a pack not a quarter of a pack but half a pack of the flowering foils dsp which is the beautiful um, foil paper from celebration so i uh, have enough i think here for people for 12 people that's i think what i've got um, enough in my stash for for uh, people to order this class or to buy this class for me because i can't order it anymore this paper finished off with a spring catalog and so um, let me know if you're interested and in, or if you want more details but that's my sneak peek for the dreaming of paris class Okay, so I'm going to get on to my next card here. It's another card for guys. And it's the second one that people will receive who place an order with me uh, during the month of June, a minimum $30 order. And if you don't place it with me and you just wanna do it online, use the June host code, host code and that will qualify you. So for this card, we've got an early espresso base and I have used, oh boy, here we go again. I can never remember the names of all these new papers. This is the paper that comes with the Beautiful World stamp set. It's the World of Good Sweet. So I think this is called the World of Good Paper. I think it's something like that. And it's for guys and it's kind of, um, oops. Okay, I didn't mean to cut it. It, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to age it and, and distress it that much, but you know what? It's okay, because this is, that's, you can see what I'm doing right here. Um, I am distressing the sides of the designer paper with my scissors, and it's okay. It's gonna get little tears. And the other thing that I've already done for you that will be in the kit is um, I've run the 
designer paper through the old world embossing folder so it's all ripply like just like an old map or old paper would be so this is just a little extra thing that you can do and if you don't like this look look of uh, distressed edges you don't have to do this now I I demonstrated this card once before for my club ladies and I wanted to show them how you could curl the edges and I took my scissors and I ended up cutting the piece right off the end so don't do that don't do your don't use your scissors to curl the edges but if you're very gentle you could use your bone folder to curl the edges and some of you might have like brown dark brown ink and you want to like distress the edges that way too by rubbing the edge of your dark brown ink pad you can do that I'm not going to do that tonight but that is totally an option for you if you like okay so this is all very rumply and bumpy so rumply and bumpy this will help it to stick down as my green or my green liquid glue gets into all those little spots all right hopefully I'm still in the camera here that you'll be able to see what's going on all right just looking um, again at my my uh, screen on my iPad and a few more people might have hopped on so make sure that you do leave a comment I don't usually do a draw on my Tuesday night tutorials but tonight I am and I have some of the retired gold faceted gems so if you leave a comment your name will be entered in the draw and even if it's the replay just comment replay um, I won't be drawing until Friday at noon for these and it is for somebody who resides in Canada because I can't send product out of the country but if you are from outside the country and you leave a comment I will send you one of these cards I will draw and send you one of these cards in in the mail and so far um, I do have some ladies who watch from let's see where are they North Carolina and um, let's see South Dakota is it I can't remember anyways I don't see them today so um, make sure that you do comment if you do see this uh, see this in rather replay I just stop I can't think and do and <laughs> I can't talk and think about something else at the same time there is a difference between the front and the backs of these die cut rectangles these stitch rectangles and I was just looking to see which I had and so yeah there's the back make sure you take a look at yours too so get that somewhat centered ish <gasps> uh oh I just realized something I forgot to put my ribbon around okay this is what I was supposed to do I was supposed to put my ribbon around here and I forgot so we'll just see if we can do some look at that do some surgery okay kind of sort of got it and there we'll put a little bit of fast fuse here and here has anybody else out there got uh, tried the new stamp and seal yet is there anybody out there who has received some already oh Brenda says love all the cards interested oh interested in the Paris cards okay I'll share more of that information with you Brenda um, I was saying it more towards the beginning that I hadn't received my stamp and seal uh, yet and I want I'm really interested in trying the stamp and seal plus because it's supposed to be strong like the fast fuse was and I yeah I missed the fast fuse I still I'd been hoarding that last little bit of it I had a few cartridges left and yeah holding on to it okay hi to Glenda hi Pam if you're still there all right now don't do like me make sure you put your ribbon on oh now I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer when for the people who get this package don't don't do like I did on the video <laughs> all right almost done this is the part the decorating part that we're at now we've kind of put the the main parts of it together okay what am I doing wrong here got extra things sticking all over my 
dimensionals. There we go. Oops. Oh, for Pete's sakes. <laughs> Why am I having trouble getting these peeling off? I don't know. I think it's double backed on itself there or something. Oh, well, we'll just put another one on. Can't seem to get the backing off of that one there. Okay, so I want this sort of somewhere. Oh, oh, I did it again. There's something else I forgot to do. Okay, I want to stamp some words here. Um, and I'm going to use Early Espresso and I'm going to use Itty Bitty Greetings again because in Itty Bitty Greetings, there is a saying that says, world's best father. And this is going to have a world on it. See, there's the world. So I thought that was so cool that it um, matched up with the world of good, sweet, the beautiful world stamps it. Okay, I just check and see how straight this is. World's best father. Okay, that's straight, but I've got all those lumps in there and now it's sticking to my paper. Okay, there's gotta be, okay, this is how I'm gonna do it. There's always a way to fix everything. So first of all, I'm just gonna rub these off with my fingers. Sayonara, goodbye dimensionals. Okay, and then second thing, I'm going to grab this little plastic packet just so it doesn't stick to the paper underneath. But there, now I'll be flat, the wooden table under there. So you can do anything. You just uh, go about it with an, the right attitude, right? <laughs> okay, not as centered as it could have been, but there we go. And now this will just peel off the plastic, right? Yeah, sort of, okay. Make sure that's dry. Okay, and Oops, I did it again. I set it down on the on the paper. Now I can glue it down. There we go. The map with... Oh, I forgot to look to see. Which part of the map did I get? I'm always interested in uh, something about the Rocky Mountains and the Klondike. British Columbia, that's the part of the map that I got. You'll have to check if any of you get this card, this card kit, what part of the map that you got. Okay, now the last time I did these cards, I had my in colors that had been delivered and I did it with um, cinnamon cider. So I had cinnamon cider here for the ribbon and cinnamon cider little enamel dots. Um, but then I got my brass foil paper that came that was delivered it was a little bit delayed for uh, demonstrators to order and so i was thrilled when the brass foil came and i'm like oh yeah we got to have a brass world in here and the brass is um fairly similar to the the gold except it is even brighter and even more reflective it's almost like a mirror. It is so shiny. It's incredibly shiny and bright. So I'll just uh, put a couple spit spots here or there of there, just wherever there's little extra, extra space on the back of the world. I'm just gonna kind of get the ink or the glue tacky. I want it to, um, I don't want it to slip around on the brass too much. So I'm just gonna kind of air it out and, okay, oh, there's a little, little part of the world that I could poke out. Out you go, little spot. There. Now it's sticking to my finger or my thumb, okay. I'm trying to do this without wiggling it around on the brass foil too much so I don't want to get blobs of glue showing up on there. All right. Ooh, I got a little bit, but that will dry. I'm not going to touch it. That's my thing to do is to smear it. Okay, see this little thing? It holds the globe. It's the holder for the globe. Last time I did this card, I glued it upside down. So don't be like Shauna. 
don't glue your background down too quickly <laughs> and don't glue your globe holder upside down. All right, so we'll add another little bit of liquid glue here. I'm being pretty generous with the liquid glue tonight. I can probably go easier on that. And somewhat kind of sort of centered. There we go. All right, and now I am going to grab three more dimensionals. I feel very sticky tonight. So I'll put my gr brass. Oh, see, I should have put this down a little bit more. There. It was still a little bit liquid glue hadn't set so I could slide it down a little bit there okay and last time I did this video the ladies said they thought that instead of pointing it straight up and down it did look kind of cool if north was tilted just a little bit so that's what I'm going to do again let's tilt the north all right and then in with your kit there will be three little enamel dots and they are um, in the same color as the ribbon which is the new in color of Bumblebee. I'm having trouble with my tools here. They're all whooshed up. Okay, and my suggestion is to get like a piercer or take your pick tool and lift those up. I have had one or two, oh, there it did it right there, where the plasticky dome part came off from the backing. So they'll show you how I dealt with that. I just put the colored backing onto the paper and then I'll just take a tiny little drop of my liquid glue. Okay, I want to make sure this isn't going to come out too quickly on me. There, I just got a little bit going. Just a touch of liquid glue and it will dry. And now I have to pick up my dome and attach the dome. And right now, uh, let go. <laughs> the uh, putty doesn't want to let go of the dome. Okay, come on guy, you can do this. And it won't look very bumblebee-ish right now because the glue is still wet. But when it dries, it will look bumblebee. So there we go. So if you have that happen to you, if you're enamel dome separates from the colored spot underneath you can there is a way to fix it there's a way to do everything okay oh i didn't uh, glue the white piece on the inside of the card but there is that that is going to be part of all the card pieces that go with this so Hello to those who have just joined on. I just finished um, showing how to make these two guy cards. Uh, oh, there was a choice between the chair or the, the golf uh, ball. And I am doing a draw and it will be Friday at noon for anybody who's watching live or the replay up until Friday at noon. Uh, it'll be a draw for the gold faceted gems that we used to have in the catalog and we don't carry them anymore as a thank you for watching and leaving a comment and it has to be somebody that uh, resides in Canada that can win the draw for the gold faceted gems if you're from outside of Canada I'll put you in a draw and I'll surprise you and I'll send you one of these cards in the mail and just a quick reminder um, earlier in the video I showed the cards that are going to be part of my Dreaming of Paris class and I'll just go back to those one last time and if you want more information let me know because I will send that out to you but there are the four cards that are part of the Dreaming of Paris class oh I'm missing one here the butterfly plus with the Dreaming of Paris class you get the quarter of the package of the designer paper that goes with it and some of the some of the beautiful ribbon like what was it did I say seven and a half feet of the petal pink 
metallic edged ribbon and a fifth of the package of the champagne rhinestones. So um, yeah, I will be in touch with Brenda because I know you expressed interest in it and um, and anybody else let me know too. Like I said, I have I think enough for 12 packages that I can send out and then there are some options to add on things too. So thanks everyone for joining me tonight i hope you enjoyed seeing the two cards for guys and i uh, oh this is what i forgot to mention i am going to be putting in an order tomorrow by tomorrow night at nine o'clock so that's wednesday uh nine o'clock here in saskatchewan and um with your orders of over thirty dollars you'll get the pieces for these two guy cards so Thanks everybody. I hope you're having a really good week and um, hopefully I'll be able to talk to you on Saturday for my coffee break stamping. Bye for now.